All right, guys, we're going to look at knee on belly today. We're going to talk about the top position. This is really a very um, dominant position where we're hurting our partner or evoking a reaction, usually an arm bar because somebody pushes. But we're going to look at the bottom and a basic escape that I use a lot that I find works really well, especially against somebody committed to that knee on belly. So first things first, let's look at what knee on belly is. If Matt actually starts in side control here, maybe he's past my guard, maybe he did a, a takedown that got me here, that's great. But if he gets his collar and belt or hip grip right here, so we have some kind of control of the hip, usually the belt and a collar, and then he pops up to knee on belly, boom, right here. So go ahead and get really heavy with pressure. Oh, this is the worst. If he hangs out for three seconds, he gets two points. Now most people will try to push on the knee, which gives him the opening here, and now he can pull me. Boom, he starts setting up a far side arbor. Or if I push maybe on the chest, I expose this arm for the near side armbar. One of the first things we have to recognize is we have three seconds to deal with this, or he gets points. Secondly, if I give the wrong reaction, I expose myself to more danger. And if I don't do anything, you can even go to mount to make things worse. So I have to be smart under pressure. So I don't want to push here, I don't want to push here. What I am going to do is I'm going to grip right here. You can see there's a little bit of fabric here. I don't want this knee going to the mat. So I'm going to grip here and keep my elbow tight, okay? I'm gripping it tight. I'm going to show another angle in a second, but I'm going to take this hand in a C grip, and I'm going to find his ankle. So right now, his ankle is almost to my hip. Sometimes I might have to wiggle a little bit to make space, but I've connected, so I'm holding his knee and his ankle like this. Okay? I want to tuck his ankle beneath my leg, but if I push now, there's no way. So I'm going to connect him tight to me so he can't move. I bridge him up. Now I'm going to drop my right leg, push underneath, and walk. So let's show this from a different angle just so you guys can see. We'll turn this way. So it has to be a two-part movement. I know it's hard to see my face now, but at least you'll see the movement. This hand here is going to grip the knee. This hand, I'm looking right here. Okay, so I haven't moved yet. I grip here. If I try to push this, don't let me push this back. Look, there's no way I'm going to come underneath. So I bridge forward. And as I get here, I drop my leg and come underneath and lock here. Now, if we turn back a little bit. So right now, I don't have much of a guard, if anything. I just barely have his ankle, but this is not a knee on belly. So if I do it under that three seconds, I stop him getting points. Now, if I let go and he drives his knee to the mat, boom. Still quarter guard, but he's going to crush me and eventually go to mount. So if we come back a little bit, let's go back to the on belly. I'll show him one more time. I get here. I don't freak out. I grip. I get here. I can even help. Instead of just bridging, I turn my shoulders in a little bit. So as I come here, boom, I can catch. So now that I've caught, I don't want this knee to go off my belly. I don't want to go this way, and I don't want to come back the other way for knee slice. So let's turn away. I'm going to take my right hand here. If he's really leaning heavy over me, I can push here because it's hard for him to get the arm bar now that I have his leg. Or I like better, I push on the hip. I push as much as I can and I'm going to bring my knees through and pinch. Look how he posted. Trying to keep your hands on me. It's hard. Just by tipping, look, he's got a post. Sometimes they'll hold on, but they become very precarious because right now his weight is on me and I'm pinching my legs together. Notice I didn't let go of this grip. Now, two or three reactions will happen. The first is that he's going to keep here and I'm going to sweep him, unlikely. The second, and much more common, he's going to start backing out. As he backs out, that sets up me to start getting some kind of guard back because my feet come in the way. The third is I might be able to move him around and start going to like a half guard, but really I want to get to a full open guard. So let's come back to the on belly. First things first, grip the knee right here. Find this little packet, right? Keep my elbow in. I don't want to be loose here. Tight. Second thing, underneath here on the ankle, turn my shoulders a little bit, bridge, and tuck. As soon as I'm here, I push, and now I bring my knees in. From here, I can even grip the collar and the sleeve. So go ahead and start moving. The second he moves, he opens right up to that collar and sleeve. So let's do it from another ankle. Boom. So as we're here, actually, let's scoot back a little bit back. So you say, thanks. Right? If I push, the second I go here, or a lot of people will push on the hip like this, exposes the arm. Keep your elbows in. One, two, I bridge. Look, if I come back, if I bridge into him, see how this knee doesn't go anywhere? So I make sure to bridge over me. Up, and then I tuck. Now he'll drop back down heavy with the weight right here. I can't just stay like this. Can you finish knee slice? Very easy. Right. So when I bridge, I want to keep him connected to me. One, two, I bridge, tuck here, and then I push. Look how my knees are here. If he starts working for that knee slice, I'm going to update here and keep my distance, or I start doing my knee slice defenses. Different video. But if he stays attached to me, which is ideal, as I bridge, forward, tuck, boom. I push, 
with my knees in. Don't let my knees go this way. Stay on my back. So look at the difference. If I'm here, he holds on to me. I just tilt a little bit this way. It's hard. So I find a collar. I like this. Find an arm. I can even get the leg. And I'm going to push him away and sweep. Now the chances of this happening are very minimal. But sometimes people sit back and they don't disengage. So let's do this nice and slow. We'll do this sweep. So he goes to me on belly. I bridge. I turn and hook. I push here. Look, I roll to my back and I push like this. So I might be able to get that sweep. Unlikely. But if you try for the sweep, he doesn't fall. So it's this, this time I'm going to push you back. He doesn't fall though, right? I get my grips. I bridge. I come underneath. I bring under. Uh, so I have both my knees. I push him. He doesn't fall. But look, as I make space, my legs are in now. I have a guard. And I can start turning and working whatever I want. So just an idea. Anytime they pop up that knee and belly, most people are looking for a reaction. They're going to try to force you to extend your arm for an armbar. Or if you do nothing, they're going to pass them out, get their points, and build on to more points. A better bet, block that knee for going across. Bridge them. Fight the ankle. Now you've got the beginning of a guard. You can start framing then. You're a little more safe. And you can start building back to an open guard, like a collared sleeve or maybe a spider. So try it out. Hope it works.